Welcome to Prissy Anto Educational Academy. In this session, I am going to explain you the elimination of elimination of arbitrary arbitrary constants. Elimination of arbitrary constants. So how to eliminate the arbitrary constants? Today I am going to explain you. So the question will be form the question will be form the PDE form the PDE PDE means partially differentially partial differentially equation so partial differential equation that is pde okay by eliminating by eliminating the constants a and b the constants a and b from z is equal to a x power n plus b y power n this is the question so we have to eliminate a and b in the answer the answer must not have a and b okay so this is a very important this is the question so from the question i am going to solve so answer is you have to take the given one as z is equal to a x power n plus b y power n take this equation number 1 so differentiate differentiate equation number 1 partially with respect to okay <coughs> partially with respect to x as well as y so i am going to differentiate partially with respect to x left hand side is dou z by dou x is equal to so only you have to differentiate x so a as it is you have to write x power n if you are writing a n x power n minus 1 right so this is the differentiation x power n only you have to differentiate b y power n if you are differentiating with respect to y, it will become 0. So, only you will get this one from the notation. Notation you know very well. So, notation from the notation dou z by dou x can be written as p which is equal to a n x power n minus 1. So, what is a n x power n minus 1 can be written as p is equal to a n x power n x power minus 1 am i right x power n minus 1 can be written as x power n into x power minus 1 x power minus 1 can be written as which is equal to p is equal to a n x power n divided by x am i right so p x which is equal to this is a if it goes uh, denominator p x by a or p x by n px by n which is equal to why i am writing like this a into x power n take this equation number 2 why i have written like this now the in equation number 1 what is there a x power n for a x power n you can substitute px divided by n so that's why i have written in this way so second equation we have got so after that differentiate again differentiate equation number one partially with respect to y partially with respect to y so we are we are going to differentiate dou z by dou y which is equal to b n y power n minus 1 so in the same way you can write 
from the notation q is equal to p n y power n minus 1. So q y divided by n is equal to q y divided by n is equal to b y power n. Take this equation number 3. q y divided by n is equal to b y power b into y power n. Take this equation number 3. Now we we'll have to substitute equation number 2 and equation number 3. Equation number 2 is here px divided by n is equal to a into x power n. Equation number 3 is qy divided by n is equal to b into y power n. We have to substitute in equation number 1. Here is ax power n z is equal to ax power n plus b y power n. So therefore substitute 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 equation number 2 and equation number 3 in equation number 1. So therefore equation number 1 becomes z is equal to a x power n p x divided by n plus b y power n q y divided by n which is equal to z is equal to p x plus q y divided by whole divided by n. So therefore by cross multiplying n z is equal to p x plus q y. So which is p x plus q y. So which is required p d e p d e. So which is a required p d e. This is the partial differential equation. This is the answer n z is equal to p x plus q y. So we have eliminated the arbitrary constants a and b.